I mean, the Pyraminx. <clears throat> so, I don't really have anything to say, so let's get started. So, once your Pyraminx is mixed up, the first thing you're going to want to do is solve the tips, which are these. Now, if you look here, if you look this piece, this piece, and this piece, these three pieces underneath this tip can't ever change all the way around the cube. So the three around each tip can't ever change. So you can turn the tip just until all the colors match up. Like that. Now all my tips are solved. Now what you're going to want to do is solve the center like this. How the center is solved. But I'm going to be solving the yellow one. And it is fairly easy. For me, all I have to do is turn it over and it is in. But, let's see. Maybe, if you have something like this, where two of them are here, but no matter how you turn this one, you can't get the other one in. It is because, if you look, this is blue and this is green. And since this is green, oh, no, no. So, this is red and blue, and this is green and red. So, you want to match up the color, so we want the red and green over here, the red, yellow, and green over here. So to get it, to get this piece over here is very simple. Just turn the top towards wherever the color is. I mean, I mean this color. So like, if this yellow was over here, you turn it to the right. But since it's right here, I'm going to turn it to the left. And then you're going to turn the side that has the color on it up. So like, mine's on the left, so I'm going to turn that up. But if it were on the right, you turn this up. So I turn that up. Now you have switched those two. You have switched this one so that it is um, in its right spot. And now all you'll have to do is just turn the top layer uh, enough times. Like if it was right here, you just turn it back. And if it's right here, you just turn it back. You just have to turn the top layer until they all match up. Then what you're going to do, once you have this center, you're going to, well I guess you can match up all the other centers. So just turn that top layer until all the other centers are matched up. Then what you're going to do is you're going to get these three edges. So now, to do that, I will show you. Okay, so right here I have the yellow and blue edge. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to find that edge. And you're going to want to put it so that when you turn it in, it's lined up in its right spot. So, when it's right there, you're going to turn it in, then you're going to move it down, out of the way. Then you can turn the top layer back, and move this side back up. And it, sh it, puts, that, it puts the piece that was over here back into, into its right spot. And you're going to do that for all of the sides. So, see this piece needs to go right in here. So you just turn it up, then move that piece out of the way. Then you can turn this back and turn this back. Very simple. Now when you have one that's in its spot, only it's flipped around, or if it's in a different spot, all you gotta do is just move it out of there using the same technique. So just move it down, out of the way, back and back. Now you can move it up to so where when you move it in, it matches up, and then you can turn that down, move it back over, turn it up. Um, now I'm not using algorithms for this, and, yeah, I'm just not using algorithms for this, because I don't think you really need to. Now, if you look, you should have solved the, uh, the whole yellow side and the base around it. Now I'll just solve the top, now I'll just solve the top three by turning the top layer until it matches all of them up. Now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to solve, well, what I call finishing cube. Um, and basically, if you have one um, like this, if you have this one, now hold on, okay. I'm going to teach you one algorithm that's, that's all you're going to need to know. So if you have one piece here that's already put into its spot and these two aren't, just do this algorithm. So have those two pieces facing you and do, um, I'm not going to say the algorithm, but I'm just going to show you. So this right one down, left one up, top to the right, left down, top to the left, and right up. And now if you turn it 
to let's see the left turn this turn this face to the right and then do the same thing only starting with the left so left down right up top left right down top right left up and it should have solved Q but in some cases hold on here let's see um Okay, so I'm just going to try to get that far again and try to show you a different situation. Sorry for moving slow. Um, I'm doing this all on the camera here. So it's okay, there. So, again, let's say... So let's say you have this, where two of each color are on the same side like that. <clears throat> Just and from any spot, do the same algorithm. Right down, left up, top right, left down, top left, right up. And it should have put, and it should have done this. It, it should have kind of mixed them up a little bit. And uh, so right from where you're, right from where you are, Right here, right from where you end up, don't turn the cube, I mean, you can look at it, but make sure you know right where you're at. So, and then from right where you're at, you're going to do the same same algorithm. Right down, left up, top right, left down, top left, right up. And that should have put one edge and gave, and it should put you back to that one, the same um, place we were at before. Puts one edge in, and these two are mixed up, so then you just do the same thing. Then turn it to the right and do the pattern only on the left first. So left down, right up. And that should have solved the cube. Well, the pyramid. Um, let's see. What are other some? What are some other situations? Those are basically it, actually. Um, <clears throat> if you Come up with an algorithm. Come up with a not an algorithm, a, uh, a problem. Like a if you come up with another thing like that, something. If you come up with uh, let's see how is it like a design or if you have it different than what I do. If like if you get something different than this, then contact me and let me know, and I will tell you. Um, these aren't all of the problems that need to be fixed on it but they're most of them I mean there's not very many you just gotta keep doing that move and it should eventually when you get to this point it's pretty easy to solve so there you go so that is how to solve any pyramids and I guess that concludes the tutorial.